We've all heard the saying, don't write checks that your mouth can't cash. Well, after last night, there's a new version. Don't write checks that your briefcase can't cash in after Carmela destroys it with a garbage truck. It really rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Sorry, Red, but I proved what everyone already knew. Mela is money, and you'll always be trash. It's Red, and it appears she has the new accessory. Um, what is that? Did you make your own briefcase? Real cute, but I think you need to take your DIY and go di -Y. I'm not going anywhere, because it's not the briefcase that matters. It's more symbolic than anything. What really matters is the contract inside that's good for a title match at any time. And I still have that, thanks to my disgusting yet loyal friend. There's no way this is legit. Actually, Randy Orton just signed off on it, so it's official. You can't do this. I destroyed your briefcase. This should not be happening. Sorry, princess, but it is. So what do you say we finish what we started? Red's cashing in. We're going to have a Raw Women's Championship match right now. I don't know about this. Carmella got the best of Red just 24 hours ago, and now Red might be setting herself up for a repeat. That could certainly happen, but throughout the years, Money in the Bank briefcase holders have cashed in at a highly successful rate. Let's see if Red can continue that trend here tonight. Hey guys, with Carmella destroying Red's briefcase, I certainly did not expect this. You got it, hand it to Red. Most people would have accepted defeat and moved on, but not no, Carmella was absolutely blindsided. She thought she'd eliminated this threat to her title, but clearly she was wrong. Credit to Red for being one step ahead of the Staten Island Princess. Now, let's see if she can win the match. Otherwise, this is all just one big waste of time. Yeah. Wow, she turned that one around. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. So it's winning by Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Wendy Richter, Trish Stratus, Sherry Martell, Lita. So many great Hall of Famers help make the Women's Championship the prestigious prize it is today. The champ getting put to the test here. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. She is just dominant right now. She's a live wire right now. Get out of her way. Whoa, it's another reversal. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. Strong oh. kick. My goodness. I love it. One thing nobody could ever take away from Carmella is that she will forever be known as the first ever female to win a Money in the Bank ladder match. She's definitely etched her name in the history books, but Michael, let's not forget that her victory didn't come without its fair share of controversy. Oh, a front thrust kick. What does Carmella have to do to regain her composure? She needs to turn the tide here. Leave it to Saxton to call Carmella's Money in the Bank victory controversial. Of course, you also failed to mention Carmella backed that win up with a second Money in the Bank ladder match victory just days later. I definitely give Carmella credit for that one, Corey, but 
I can't justify uh -oh. my first victory. Oh, close line. She's got to remember to get back in the ring before the referee's 10 count. Oh, again. And then, boom. Three. Back now inside the ring. Gets out of dodge there. Is the answer here. This is a big risk. Will it pay off? So agile. Carmella. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. Oh, oh somehow. Wow, Carmella somehow digs deep and finds a way to keep fighting. She's a beast. Reversal. And had it scouted. Middle rope. Oh. <laughs> and it's Carmella answering back. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Suplex! She's bringing the pressure on now. She's able to turn it on at will. Balls it applied for the championship! There's the cover. Successfully captured a replacement money in the bank briefcase to become the new Raw Women's Champion. What an amazing 24 hours this has been for Red. I hate to say it, but you have to give some credit to her pal Trey, who apparently went dumpster diving to salvage the money in the bank contract. This is yet another tremendous achievement for Red to cross off the list she shares with Trey. It's become increasingly apparent that it's not just a piece of paper. It's the driving force behind Red's meteoric rise to the top. So I really uh, like the story a little bit, but it's a bit like uh, strange that uh, they're doing the whole whoops. And so it is with great honor that I induct the package deal, Red and Trey, into the WWE Hall of Fame. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> no. Wow. Thank oh, you. Oh, this is incredible. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank All you. Right. Thank you guys so much. All right. Almost 20 years ago, we were a couple of not so popular high school kids who bonded over our love of WWE and became best friends. But we never thought it was possible that someday we'd be WWE superstars ourselves, let alone stand on this stage tonight being honored as two of the very best of all time. By the way, I totally thought we could do it. He didn't. Going off script already, huh? Well, that didn't take long. Fine. Where was I? Here we go. But one day at lunch, we made a list. This piece of notebook paper would become the roadmap to our success in WWE. It contained our goals, hopes, and wildest dreams. And it changed everything. Over the years, we added a lot of new things to the list, and pretty much everything got crossed off except for one huge final achievement. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. And unless anyone in charge has a last minute change of heart, I think it's safe to say that will be crossed off in a little while. And I'm not gonna say this is a bigger achievement for me than it is for my friend, but let's be honest. When I first got to WWE, not many of you thought I was Hall of Fame material. What he's trying to say is he wasn't exactly the most respected superstar in the locker room. 
<laughs> well, let's face it, no one other than you liked me. But a lot of that was my fault. I was brash and confident, but didn't have the experience to back it up. Sure, I had a universal title win, but it was mostly considered a fluke. And when it came to the list and my career goals, I really only cared about crossing off the fun things that came along with being a WWE superstar. Winning dance contests, getting an action figure, a cool t-shirt, being in a video game, a movie. <laughs> Which, of course, brings me to The Miz. What's up, buddy? I see you. <laughs> yeah. There were a lot of parallels between our personalities, which explains why I wasn't that liked, and also why we made such good adversaries. I mean, who could forget our legendary battle over the lead role in Rank and File 4? Paving the way. So I'm thinking going and maybe like start a review video of WWE 2K20 My Career Mode once I finish up this series, this My Career Mode series on my other channel. But for right now, let's uh, continue the story. I am definitely auditioning. It's one of my OG list items. Star in a WWE action movie. I think I'm gonna pass. Are you kidding? Do I need to remind you that the rank and file films are cinematic masterpieces? No, you mention that every year on that weird holiday you invented where you binge all of them from start to finish. You mean Thanksgiving Day? It's the most heart-pounding, action-packed, explosive day of the year. And it's gonna catch on. You'll see. I wouldn't get your hopes up, all you wannabe movie stars. Because I already have the lead role of Bryce Decker locked in for the fourth consecutive film. I mean, do you really think the rank-and-file franchise could continue without the most accomplished WWE superstar slash actor in history? The answer is no, people. But please, feel free to audition for a bit part or an extra role. I'll be sure to put in a good word for you with the director. Gotta run. Getting my eyes bleached for the big shoot coming up. Really gonna make these baby blues pop on screen. Break a leg. Sorry, this isn't my thing, but I know how excited you were. Honestly, the franchise is probably better off in the hands of a seasoned artist like The Miz. You were right. It was a stupid dream. <sighs> you know what? I changed my mind. Let's audition together. It'll be fun. Really? Yeah. Let's give it our best shot, and maybe we can get supporting roles, or background would be fine too, even deep background mm. where we're out of focus and no one can see me. Oh, that would still be cool. And just imagine all the kids' faces when they see us in the movie next year on Thanksgiving Day. They'll light up with explosions and excitement. I'm still not sure that's catching on like you think it is. So we got Bianca Belair, and we have, uh... Instead of worrying about movie auditions, maybe you should focus on defending your Raw Women's Championship. Thanks for the advice, but I'm confident I can handle both. Maybe you feel that way because you've been facing subpar competition since you won that title last year. So how about you step up and take on someone who can actually challenge you? Casey held the title for about like one year. Who do you have in mind? Is that a serious question? I'm talking about the EST of WWE. I'm sorry about Here's my response with another EST for you. No interest. I don't know if you've heard, but there's auditions coming up for Rank and File 4, and I could really use your help. 
You've come to the right man. Not only have I starred in several movies, but it just so happens I'm a certified acting coach in over 17 states and three U.S. territories. So is this one of the states you're certified to teach in? Sure. But before I greenlight your acceptance to my seminar, I need to know if you have what it takes to make it in Hollywood. So if you can beat me in a match tonight and then make three easy cash-only payments of $99.95, we'll be in business, man. I wouldn't need to decline. On second thought, I think I'm just going to wing it. Okay, how about I make a one-time exception just for you and lower the payments to $79.95? Come on, that's a steal! Sorry, man. I'm out. Fine. To be honest, I'm not really a certified acting coach. But that's how good of an actor I am that you believe me. So you're lost. Let's continue on to the story. Sorry, but I'm just a little nervous with the star of the rank-and-file franchise here. Oh, don't mind me. I just wanted a sneak peek at what's gonna end up on the blooper reel. You'll be fine. Besides, pressure makes diamonds. Or in this case, comedy gold. So, I know you didn't give out script pages before the auditions, but when do I get to see the lines? You don't, because you're going off book. I want you to feel it here by completely immersing yourself in the character. Now I'll read a line and you tell me what our hero's response should be. This should be good. Here we go, guys. The antidote is hidden in the vending machine, but it's jammed. Let's go for this one. Looks like we're gonna need to buy a lot of candy if we want to get sweet revenge. Perfect! That's exactly what I was envisioning. Now let's continue. I know I pronounced you dead a half hour ago, but we need to know where Donnie's gang is hiding out. I saw it in a vision when I was dead. They're in a building that has a large white star on it. Also, your grandfather says hi, and that he approves of your lifestyle. Yes! You absolutely nailed it! Beginner's luck. Okay, last one. The bomb is wired inside of Chloe's jet ski. So you're going to have to make a decision. Stay here so I don't get away, or go save her and a bunch of innocent dolphins. What's it going to be? I'm gonna let you in on a secret. Those are bomb-disabling dolphins. So the only one who's gonna be sleeping with the fishes is you. Brilliant! It's almost like you saw the script ahead of time. Unbelievable! Maybe you could play gang member number two or henchman number five. Not anyone with an actual name. <laughs> okay, Miss. Now that Trey has dazzled me with his intuitive performance, it's your turn to audition. Are you kidding? This must be a prank, right? Did they bring back Swerved? No, this <laughs> oh, isn't a no. joke. But I'm the star of the rank and file franchise. You can't potentially recast me. I even have a Bryce Decker tattoo on my inner left thigh. I thought this so called audition was just a part of your stupid hippity dippity process. I assure you, it's very real. So if you're that confident in your ability, then please show me. Fine. But can I at least see the script pages? 
That wouldn't be fair. I want you to feel it here. Don't touch me! Don't mind me. Sit down, shut up, and watch how a real Hollywood star performs this part. Proceed, director! The terrorists are inside the arena, disguised as the opening band. You need to do something to stop them. We need to create a diversion. What kind of concert is this? Rock? Country? Hip-hop? I could really use some context. Don't worry about all that. Just immerse yourself in the character. Yeah, Miz. Immerse. Shut up. I think the only way we're gonna stop them is if we band together. Uh, puns are a bit too expected and broad for my taste. Too broad? A few minutes ago, this no-talent hack was babbling on about bomb-disabling dolphins. It rang true when he said it. Look, in the spirit of positivity, I think it's time for you to move on to a new artistic challenge. This is unbelievable. You'll be getting a call from my agent, my entertainment lawyer, and my regular lawyer. I actually don't have a phone, but I'd be happy to meet with them in person at my treehouse in the woods outside of Austin. Unbelievable! I'll call you. I, I just made up that whole treehouse thing to get rid of him. Brilliant. Okay, so I think uh, the maze is out and Robert's in. Before we get started, you should know, I'm just doing this to support a friend of mine, so I thought I'd just stand here for a couple of minutes so he thinks I auditioned. Does that work for you? Unconventional, but I like where you're going with this. Very avant-garde. No, you don't, you don't get it. I really don't want to part. The reluctant heroine. I dig it. No. I don't know how else to say this. I don't want to be in your movie. Sorry I'm late. The idiot I was oh, sparring with accidentally no, scratched her. me, so I had to fire him. Then he started crying, saying how he couldn't believe his own daughter would do this to him, blah, blah, blah. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, hey, Red. Didn't recognize you. Guess I just thought you were the director's homely assistant his wife forced him to hire so he's not tempted to cheat on her. Tried that. Didn't work. Why are you here? This is my turf. Believe me, I would have preferred to do this just about anywhere else, but I'm here because I'm using my MMA success to dabble in Hollywood. Kind of like Ronda Rousey did, only way better. Brooklyn's already been cast as our female lead, Miranda. You know what? Let's have the two of you workshop the scene where Miranda's daughter is kidnapped from the playground, and you're the stubborn crossing guard who won't let her cross the street illegally to chase after the kidnappers. Seriously? And... action. The kidnappers are getting away with Emily. I need to stop them! I'm sorry, ma'am, but I can't let you cross the street until the walk signal appears. I'm just doing my job. Yeah. Well, a mother's job is never done. Going off script with the slap, but I like it. Use that anger, Red. If you ever touch me again, the only movies you'll appear in will be the instructional kind for plastic surgeons on how to fix faces that are bludgeoned beyond recognition. Maybe a tad extreme? <sighs> cut, cut, that's a wrap. Is anyone filming this? Is anyone, get me a camera, get me a camera now. So we're having a brawl between Casey Rogers and Brooklyn Von Braun. Dig deep, does that take you back anywhere?
How can she? So honest. Beautiful. No, don't. There we go. Ah, tap, ah. tap out, oh. tap. Oh, come on, seriously. Ah. Scene just like old times. Despite Miz and Brooklyn doing everything they could to prevent it, I got the starring role in Rank and File 4. Red, on the other hand, wasn't so lucky. But I guess fighting with the lead actress during a casting session is generally frowned upon. Miranda, where are you? I'm in the spaceship's cockpit. Hurry, Bryce. We don't have much time before it launches. Your time's up, imposter. Cut! There's no henchman line in this script. You're just supposed to tackle him, and then he throws you off the imaginary launch pad. Let's go again, and this time stick to what's written. Sorry, but that's not going to happen. What? Oh! Uh, security! <laughs> security intruder on the set! Get him, Miz! This is going to wash away the taste of shame from the last time in Park City. The danger is palpable. Got the slick jammer. Consideration. Rank and file four.
Is that, is that, is that on? Is that on? Are you getting... J Gerald! Gerald! Game over. What? That's not enough? Trying to make sure that he runs out of versus shots. Tell me, tell me we're getting this. Tell me we're getting. Huh? Tell me we're getting this. This time it's over. Get that guy off my set! I always wanted to say that. I cannot work in these unsafe conditions. Then maybe you should talk to your friend, henchman number five. You started all this. You know what? I'm going to my trailer and I'm not coming out until you're recast! Don't look at me! Okay, that's lunch. Ms. I appreciate you taking the time to have me on your show so we can set the record straight. Because the truth is, I shouldn't be here tonight in this crap basket of a town. No offense. I should be in majestic Vancouver, British Columbia, filming Rank and File 4. But unfortunately, my co-star, and I use that term loosely, let his personal feelings against my friend, The Miz, boil over. And now 200 crew members are out of work. That's right. I'm sorry to inform you that the production on Rank and File 4 has been temporarily shut down. And unless we come up with a solution, the shutdown could be permanent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're blaming all of this on me? I'm not the one who snuck on set like a crazy stalker and attacked the star of the movie. In fact, I have it on good authority from a security guard that you were the one who let Miz on set. 
So if anything, this whole mess is your fault. I would never do that to my crew. They're like family. Sure, I might forget their names or not let them make eye contact with me, but that's the exact same relationship I have with my siblings. Guys, guys, what if I told you I can make this act of injustice disappear without involving producers or agents or lawyers? How do you propose we do that? By settling who gets the part in a match at SummerSlam. But it won't be any typical match you've seen before. This will be an action-packed summer blockbuster. The rank and file four script will be suspended above the ring and whoever can climb a ladder and retrieve it first gets the starring role once and for all. This will be the premiere of the Lights Camera Action Ladder Match. Sequels are tough to pull off but me beating you for the part a second time is gonna be way more entertaining than the first go around. So it's gonna be a summer And since summer. we're in the spirit of making movie-themed matches, I have another pitch for you. How about we give everyone a preview of the coming attraction to SummerSlam? Me and Red versus you and Brooklyn tonight on Raw. You'd all love to see me compete inside a WWE ring, wouldn't you? Well, too bad, because it's not gonna happen. I'm an elite MMA fighter and Hollywood star. This isn't my arena. Fair enough. But if it's not your arena, then why don't you get the hell out? I will not stand here and allow you to insult my esteemed guest. So. If you want a sneak preview match, then you got it. But it will be you and Red taking on me and my beautiful wife, Maurice. That's fine. Now that I'm a movie star, I get how it works. When it comes time for an action scene, you take out the lead actress and bring in the lower paid, less talented stunt double. As they say in Hollywood, ciao. Okay guys, this next episode is going to be the tag match and the ladder match. So I'll see you guys there.